1984 Huffy with the signature Huffy Racing Power Bar. Stop and Stu Thompson was arguably the greatest BMX racer of all time. He rode for Huffy Bikes from 1984 to 1986. During that time in the mid 80s, teenagers were picking up their comic books and seeing ads like this for Stu Thompson and the Huffy Racing Series bicycles. They were also turning on their Saturday morning cartoons and seeing commercials like this. Stu Thompson, number one BMX pro, was challenged by Huffy to create a great bike. Huffy BMX bikes, Stu Thompson series, white paint job, pinstripe pads, rigid power system for maximum performance. The result? A flash of white lightning. A bike so free, it could only be built for you by Huffy and Stu. The two number ones in BMX racing. Totally awesome. Huffy. Here's a model I cross paths with Stu Thompson's. Not in real life but with the bicycles. In the mid 80s, I was into freestyle, so I liked riders like Ron Wilkerson and Eddie Fiola, who rode Haros and GTs. But I couldn't afford a bike like that. Stu Thompson was in the BMX world. Because he rode for Huffy from 1984 to 1986, they made bicycles that a kid like me could buy from the local department store. So I had a 1985 Huffy like that one. So today we're gonna build a tribute bike to Stompin' Stu Thompson, inspired by his picture on this vintage BMX car. Hey, let's get started. Professional racer Stu Thompson knows there are two ways to prove a BMX bike. Take it to the track or take it to the limit. Huffy, the leading brand, presents Pro Thunder. Competition certified with a torture-tested power system, the power bar and stem, the monster frame and fork, the Pro Disc sprocket. So wherever you take it, you can take it to the limit. Pro Thunder from Huffy, America's first choice. As always with the bicycle builds, we want to give you some tips as you're rebuilding or restoring your BMX bike. Uh, chrome uh, wheels, spoke wheels. This one was really grimy, so I needed to clean them and shine them up and uh, didn't really have any ideas, but beyond soap and water and maybe a brush. And a friend of mine, another bike junkie, Kevin, uh, recommended uh, plastic SOS pads. Start scrubbing and uh, they begin to work for you. Works good in all the, the crevices. Finished product, you got a good clean wheel, nice and shiny, and uh, didn't leave any scratches. SOS pads.